Hello everyone and welcome to Veteran Gaming, I am Aaron and today we're going to be talking about Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. For the next installment in my basic guide series, we're going to be talking about mods. No, 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 no! Now I know mods aren't everybody's favorite topic, but they are one of the most important parts of the game and can completely change your roster if you use them correctly. And I know they've had a bad reputation in the past for being difficult to manage. Thanks, Captain Obvious. But there are some new tools that have been released in the game that make them much simpler. So, my goal for this video is to make them simple enough to understand that you feel confident and comfortable moving forward so that you can maximize your roster's effectiveness. So, a couple things I want to throw out there right away. This is a general guide. It's going to help for 95% of people out there, but some people might have more specific characters they want to look at or might have a different way of doing things and that's fine also. I'm just throwing out what works for me and what I think works in general. Um, this is going to include some do's and some do nots also, so you know how to be as effective and efficient with your materials and mods as humanly possible. All right, but remember these are guidelines, it's not going to be a hard fast rule, and I'll talk about some of that as we go. So the very first thing we want to do is jump into our character selection menu, and we're going to bring up manage mods. We're gonna go ahead and bring up a specific character. We'll grab Jolie Bindo, just cause he's at the top here. First thing I wanna mention is you have a basic and advanced view. This is the basic, and this is the advanced, and this basic screen, you should never use. I wouldn't do that if I were you. The auto assign are absolutely terrible. The recommended mods you should never ever use. Um, I'm gonna show you exactly where one resource is to get mods that uh, works pretty well. This is terrible, don't ever use this. So, always go to your advanced screen. That's gonna be the most helpful. As you can see over here on the right, we have your character stats, health, protection, speed, all that fun stuff. As you see over here on the left is our pool of mods, which will work on the filters there, so you're not seeing all the mods that are currently assigned to other characters if you don't want to see that. And then, of course, we have the mods for the actual character and the bonuses. So the one thing I want to show you down here is where it says set bonuses. If you click on this screen, it's going to tell you exactly what the mods are and the bonuses that you get and how many are required to get that bonus. So the set bonus here, we don't even want to really look at that because we don't really utilize that. Any mods you're going to utilize in your roster are going to be level 15. So, for health, this funny symbol here, you only need two and it's gonna give you a 10% bonus. Defense, 25% for only two. Right here on crit damage, you see it requires four mods to get that set bonus and you're getting 30% crit damage. So, if you're ever confused on what a specific symbol is or how many mods you need to complete a specific set for that mod type, clicking down on the bottom on those set bonuses is gonna help you out really easily. So. Now that we've had a basic discussion of what mods are, let's talk about where we get mods. A lot of mods are gonna come from events. Let's see if there's one coming up that could get some mods. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if you get any, yeah, I think you get some for your, your forest moon stuff, but there's times there's gonna be a lot of mods that are gonna come from these events that pop up down here from time to time. Um, in your mod battles here, you have to fight all your way up to the top level of nine. And you will never, ever, ever farm anything from these nodes. Do not, they're pointless. The only tab you're worried about here is number nine, which is getting a mod slice of materials, which we'll talk about later. So your main source of mods are gonna be here in the mod challenges. And it tells you right up top, you don't even have to remember the symbol. It tells you exactly what you're looking for, for speed, potency, offense. These are where you're going to farm your mods, and you're gonna to wanna to get up here to the top tier and farm only the top tier. It's a little bit more energy, but the mods you want are the top tier mods. And really, you progress quickly enough in this game that you're not gonna mess with three dot mods, four dot mods, you're only gonna mess with five, and then once you're able, getting them to six if you want to. So, those are the mod types, those are the ways that we get mods. 
The only other way that you can get mods, I'll go ahead and show you real quick, is in the shipments. You can actually buy mods using both fleet credits and regular credits. I don't recommend this. The prices are pretty awful. And even though I have a ton of credits saved up, it's not something I just wanna blow through. But say you have, um, you know, 500 million credits and you just, you don't know what else to do with them, check out the store. So here's what you're gonna be looking for, right? Anything with speed on it, unless you're looking for a specific character like Gas, who takes a very, very specific set of mods, uh, which we'll kind of talk about later a little bit. So here you go. They even highlight speed for you because they know how important speed is in this game. So um, let's talk about this one real quick. Defense percentage on a two times crit chance multiplier, five speed. That's a very random mod. Yeah, the speed is nice, but the, I mean, why would you really want a defense on a cross for a crit chance multiplier? Which may be a little bit confusing now, we'll talk about it more in a minute, but you're not gonna wanna spend money on that mod. Really, none of these mods here at this time are a good example of something you'd wanna buy, so we'll leave them. Like I said, it's something you can check out rarely, but you are it's hard to find something good there. So that is how we get mods. So now we're gonna go ahead and dive into the new filter mechanics here and mod management tools. So we click manage mods here, which brings up this screen. So let's go ahead and talk about the filter screen real quick. We can check only unassigned mods or we can leave it so that we can see every mod. You can also use loadouts, which why don't we go ahead and pull that up real quick. Just as an example, if you go to loadouts, you can actually save each character's current mod set. So you can see here that these are saved. So if I wanna peel mods off of them for a specific event, maybe I'm going for C3PO, and I don't wanna get great mods for my Ewoks, I can peel them off other characters, but I wanna save them before I do so I can put them right back after I've unlocked C3PO. So a good loadout system can save you a lot of time if you're gonna move mods around so you don't have to gear characters more. So the loadout screen, I don't use a ton, but it can be helpful, especially if you're very top end, use those loadouts and then you can move them around for territory wars, territory battles, whatever you need. So let's go back into our manage mod screen here and open up our filters. So there we go, we've talked about unass only unassigned mods, only mods in the loadouts. We can also sort by shape of the mod, you can sort by set of the mod, and now you can sort by primary stat on the mod and secondary stats on the mod. And also what's pretty cool is say you click speed, you can also come down here and click does not have speed, which we're gonna use here in a minute when I talk to you a little bit about the process. So you can even filter more into slice counts, average slice qualities, your levels, all your rarities, your tiers, all that kind of stuff. I typically don't mess with that too much. That's a bit more advanced than I need, but the options are there if you wanna really dive into your mods. So those are all our filters. So now that we've looked at the filter tool, I'm gonna to go ahead and show you quickly what my process is because what you're mainly looking for is speed secondaries if it's not a primary. So primary speed only comes on arrows like you see on this General Hux mod right here. That is the, arrows are the only one where you can get a speed primary. Every other mod, it's gonna be a secondary, which are these lower sections right here. And you can see a lot of these have a little four next to them. Or you can see, let's see if I can get my face, there we go. So Palp actually has a five speed there. This five is the amount of times you can roll that stat. And by roll, I mean upgrade and slice the mods. So I'll get a little bit more on depth in that in a minute, but I wanna kind of stay in a linear order here so it makes sense. So you're looking for all these speed secondaries because there are very few heroes in this game that speed is not the most vital statistic that you can get. So one way, one process is to go ahead and select all, then you're gonna go ahead and upgrade. Then if you don't have any that are upgraded, you're gonna go ahead and reveal all secondary stats. That is gonna make sure Yep, just double checking. That is gonna make sure that you can see all the stats on every mod. So if I go all the way down here, it's not gonna let me, let's see if I can filter out those to start with. Uh, I got kind of a lot of mods, so this might stop it. 
This might take a second. Um, when we get all the way down here, see these are all unassigned mods. I really wish you would stop doing that. You can see that I have speed on the vast, vast majority of them. And the most important thing you can see is that all four secondary stats are revealed. So that's what you want. Once you have that, you can go ahead and select all and you can filter. And I'm gonna take speed as a secondary, no speed, and I'm gonna filter the mods. And these are obviously unassigned also. So now I can just scroll down and anything that isn't an arrow with speed just goes away. The only exception to this, like these two down here, they don't have speed as a primary, they don't have speed as a secondary, they get sold. Don't need them. So let's go ahead and restore default. We'll filter our mods, this is all of our mods. So now we can select all, upgrade them all to 15, because now I know that they all have speed as a secondary. Now, if I'm looking to put mods into a character, which maybe I'll show a little bit later here, we can go only on assign mods, and then we can sort by speed, and that's gonna show me my fastest unassigned mods, which is very helpful, not necessarily in that screen, but let's see if I can just pull up somebody real quick that doesn't have any mods. Real, uh, stop clicking. Stop it! Stop! Stop it! Gonna drive me crazy. Uh, I'm gonna scroll down through all our peoples here and find somebody that I'm eventually gonna put mods in that I don't right now, maybe? Or we're just gonna use an example. You know what? We can do Darcyon. He'll have mods eventually. He's a good character. So, Darcyon, let's just say he wants all health. So we're gonna go in here to filter, only unassigned mods, and we're gonna go only health sets, and we want speed. So the only exception here is he's a tank, so you might want a health here with an offset speed. Then we click on this, it's automatically gonna bring up, let's sort by speed here too, so all of these mods are now in order of the highest speed. As you can see down here, 17 speed is very fast. It's had four rolls out of a possible five. So we'll go ahead and assign that. That's a great mod. I'll probably take that out later. That's too good for him for a character I'm not using right now. But you can see the process here. Now you can see what your fastest mods are. So typically, if I don't have... Yeah, revert. If I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do, and if I have new good mods, I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna pick, sure, this character. Then I wanna manage, or I'm gonna filter, and I'm gonna filter by speed. Let's remove all these. Restore only unassigned mods, filter, and we're gonna pull up our speed. And now I can just see here what the fastest mods are in my entire inventory. So I can look at this one and be like, man, a tenacity offense with 18 speed. That is amazing. Now, I just want to find a character that has a tenacity triangle that needs more speed. And that's a quick way that I use to find out or to upgrade my mods as they come in. So maybe every other couple of weeks, I'll open up that process. I'll find my new mods, my new fast mods, and I'll see if I can upgrade somebody's current set. Uh, so let's just see. Bastila, I'm still working on. Let's see how fast she is. Nine speed, 11 speed, five speed. Okay, let's see if we can find a faster five speed here. So we can even be more specific. Uh, let's get our speed on there on secondary, even though they all should anyway. And let's go ahead and sort by speed. All right, what do we got here? Do we have any speeds that are faster than five? Because we still want a speed set. Nope. Nope, so we'll leave that. All right, moving into slicing a little bit. So let's talk about Darth Revan here. If you have gear level 12, you can slice mods up to six dot mods. You cannot do it with anybody who is not at least gear 12. So we'll pull Bastila up real quick because she is gear 12. So when you go to enhance, you can do something called slicing. 
and slicing, it's gonna tell you right up here. It's gonna take it from a five dot tier A, which is the highest in five dot, to a six dot tier E, which tier E is the lowest in six dots and you can continue to upgrade them. My general rule of thumb is that I get them all sliced up to the highest five dot if they have speed on them. And then if they are over 15 speed and still have the opportunity to roll an, or to slice for another speed roll, then I will slice it and take it up. That is the most efficient way I found so I don't run out of these Mark I amplifiers. So I don't know if I have one because I've been trying to kind of stay up. These are all five, 10, like 11s are pretty good. Um, but I, I have to reserve my resources because I'm completely free to play. So this one was obviously a mistake or I broke my own rule for something real quick because that only has 10 speed, but it's a six dot mod and the same goes for that one. So I don't recommend that. I would try to find your own hard cap for a number that, okay, these are the mods that I will take higher because they have a speed roll. So let's just go into Supreme Leader Kylo Ren real quick. Uh, 14 speed. I obviously went a little under. Man, I went under my cap a lot here. But here's 13, or 17, 17, 18. These are all really good. So the other thing that we can do now in this game as far as enhancing and calibrating we can go to enhance and now we can calibrate. So calibrate only works on six dot mods and you can change a slice roll from one of these other statistics like defense, tenacity, speed, or health and try to change it to speed. But the things to remember are it is RNG and the calibrating mod actually does get more expensive every time you try to do it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you real quick. Uh, I don't really need Tenacity. He's kind of immune to a lot of debuffs. Um, defense, uh, okay, let's try to re-roll a defense and get a speed. So we're gonna click on our defense, we're gonna calibrate mod, and it's gonna cost us 15 of this material. We're gonna go ahead and calibrate, and go speed, 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 speed! Tenacity, didn't get it, but, and it's actually gonna show you how good the roll was. So we'll go ahead and cheat. We'll go ahead and keep that because we don't need defense. We'll, I'd rather have tenacity, I think. The important thing to remember is each time you calibrate the mod, it gets more expensive. The last roll was 15, now it's 25. So you wanna be careful on how many you wanna go, how many calibration attempts you wanna go per mod. So let's do it uh, one more time. This one only has three on it. Let's calibrate. Uh, and let's take off. Last slice for a second. Oh, okay. So the last slice, because there's only one here, cannot be removed. So the only thing I can try to re-roll here is tenacity. So we'll try to re-roll a tenacity. And we'll try to get a speed, 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 speed. And we got it. Boom. Let's hope for a big roll. Ugh. Tiny roll. Terrible, but we'll still keep it because it's better. We got a couple extra speed for him, which is awesome. Talking about modding characters real quick. Speed is so important because it changes the turn order for your team. And it's especially important for teams like the Imperial Troopers that once they get out going, you can't stop them. So they have to be the fastest. Other characters like uh, Darth Revan wants to be really, really fast so he can get his initial fear ability out. Darth Vader helps to be really fast, especially with Emperor Palpatine lead. You can take out Geos with just the two of them because Darth Vader just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going because his turn meter doesn't stop because he's landing all the debuffs. So there are really specific characters that don't want speed as a primary, but other than that, it's gonna be the most important thing you're gonna to wanna to do. So, like I already said, do not ever use the recommended mods in the game. So what are you supposed to do? My recommendation is you'll eventually get a feel for it, but say you have a new character that you just don't know anything about. Or like when I had Ray, I was like, man, I don't know what to do with Ray. So what I did was I went to Google and you type in Ray, SWGOH, or whoever character you're looking for. And it's gonna open up this SWGOH.GG. You can go here to Ray's page and right here on the left, best mods. 
making sure that's showing, and it's gonna tell you the most popular mods that Ray uses. So if you're ever confused or you don't really know which way to go with the character or they're underperforming, check out this website, check out the best mods and how they're used, and it's even gonna show you more specifics like the relic level, the speed, best mod sets that they use, best triangle, it's gonna break down everything. So if you're ever really lost on how to mod a character, that's my recommendation. Pop over to swgoh.gg. This isn't, I'm not getting a referral from them. I just think it's one of the best resources out there. So check it out. Hopefully it'll help you. And then as you continue to play, most of the time you'll be like, okay, I know Darth Revan is a fast character. He needs to be a fast character. He's gonna go speed and then probably go health with him. But if you wanna try to set something out there like potency to get his shocks going, you can do that also. So that is how you wanna mod a character. So I know this was a lot of information, but I just wanna go ahead and summarize again because I think if I just slow it down, it's much easier to comprehend. Again, you're only gonna get your mods from the events and from your mod challenges here, and you're only gonna farm the very final tier in each particular in each particular event, okay? Tier three of whatever mod set you're currently trying to farm. If you're in doubt and you just have energy and you're not sure what to do, speed. You're gonna need more speed mod sets than any other set. And it takes four of them. So you're gonna need a lot of them to get those sets rolling. In your mod battles here, you're gonna be going for your slicing materials in the ninth tab. All of these are going to be needed eventually. These ones on the far right are obviously used for the higher upgrades. So spend most of your time getting these guys, both of them from this node, and then this is the one that's gonna help you get to tier six, or your to your six dot mods. So this 9C, 9B, and 9A is where you're gonna spend a lot of your time farming when you're not farming for mods. <clears throat> when you're opening it up, you got your mod selection up here. Remember, quick and easy way to manage mods, just go in there, upgrade them all so they reveal all their secondary stats. Get rid of the ones you don't want, which are typically the ones that don't have speed. And then you can go ahead and start placing them in your characters, making sure you upgrade them all the way. Then all you have to do is just filter through and enhance and calibrate the specific mod types you want. And if you're ever confused on which particular character needs what mods, just Google them, go to their SWGOH page and check out the best mods. And that is about as simple as I can make it. So you can get more complex if you want to because you're gonna to wanna to be coming in here and once you get your speed set, you're always gonna want these percentage secondaries, 2.79% health over 232 health. So once you're getting your speed dialed in, if it's close between two mods, check those percentages over straight stats because those are the ones you're gonna want. Anything like here, this protection percentage, potency percentage are good. The 610 protection straight secondary stat, not as good. So if you got a mod, let's see if I can find one. That's got, that's got two straight stats. I don't know if you could find one with just, I mean, other than the speed, a straight offense and a straight defense and a defense percentage is just not great, but you're on you're on a crit mod there with crit chance and good speed so that's why that mod's still around so that's the kind of thing like as you start to play with them more you kind of see those and be like okay that's a bunch of percentages that's going to be good even if the speed isn't quite as high or if it's a bunch of straight stats and the speed's low it's just going to be a sell it's not a mod that you're going to want so Hopefully this helps. Uh, if it was a little confusing, just go back and check it again. I've also, I think this is like the fourth mod video I've made. So if you want a little bit more specific information, maybe check out one of those videos as well. Hopefully this video helps guys. I know it's uh, mod management is a bit of a bear in this game, but it's so important. You have to find a way to simplify it. That way you can enhance your roster and get more work done. So. Hopefully this helps. If it did help, if you like the content, if you wanna see more about mods, 
Let me know in the comments section down below. I'll see if I can make something more specific. And if you have more questions, I might be even make a video on it, okay? As always, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell because sometimes I stream randomly. So if you want to see some of those streams, have some questions answered, I'm always talking to people on the chat. Let Make sure you hit that notification bell. B give me a big thumbs up. And as always, guys, have fun, good luck, and I'll see you on the hollow tables. So I got that going for me, which is nice.